what's going on guys my name is Jay and in today's video I kind of wanted to make a little you know kind of a retro video starting out you know basic stuff you know how to take down large game in Red Dead Redemption 2 now a lot of new guys are coming into the game and they really don't know how to go about doing this so I, I said you know what let me go ahead and go backtrack a little bit I didn't make uh, a poison arrow video so let me go ahead and make one and kind of share some tips and some techniques for taking down large game in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now before we get started if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe leave a thumbs up hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload again. Thank you so much and let's get on with it. Now in Red Dead Redemption as you guys know there's a ton of animals to hunt. Now every animal or every hunt is different depending on what you are trying to achieve from that hunt. For example, if you're looking to hunt for perfect pelts, you're going to want to be you know, as efficient as possible when it comes to hunting down your prey. So you have to use certain techniques. One of the techniques obviously is these poison arrows. Now to make poison arrows, you're going to need a pamphlet in order to start it up in order to you know start crafting you're gonna need a pamphlet that you get from this location right here at the fence now all you have to do is go over to the document section and buy it now if you don't see this document at the fence very simple there's another location that you can just find it you know you just open up a, a box and it's gonna be right here in this location all right right inside this area right here and basically all you're gonna do is when you see this little this little house on the hill here just go over and pick up this loot box and inside the box you're gonna find the pamphlet for the poison arrows now obviously you don't see it on mine because I've already bought it but for you if you're not you know buying it this is where you would get it all right so the next thing you're gonna do is basically open up your satchel and look and open this pamphlet poison arrow pamphlet and in order to activate it and unlock it from your craft wheel you have to read it so you have to press the square button to open it read it then you can go ahead and craft it and the first thing that we're gonna need is some oleander sage which is a plant it's a poisonous plant that you're gonna need to craft your poisonous arrow. Now on this location is where I normally find mine. This is where I kind of go around up and down this river and just basically just farm all day, just find as many as I want. Now you're gonna see a different kind of variation. There's some milkweed over here and there's also some oleander sage over here. All right, so pick up as much of this as you possibly can if you plan on going hunting for a while. You can basically just go around that whole river near the bayou and pick up as many as you want. Just kind of, you know, take, you know, take your time and pick up some some herbs while you're at it. So, the next thing we're going to need is some feathers, all right? And feathers obviously, you know, you can get from anywhere. I like to go to this location right here. You know, find a flock that's just kind of chilling. You know, whatever method you like to use, take out as many of these birds as you possibly can. Now, you have to find flight feathers, meaning birds that fly. So, you won't be able to get them from, for example, turkeys or anything like that. The only place you'll actually get flight feathers is from birds that fly, obviously. So, very simple. Just go up and, you know, grab your bird and pluck it. Grab you some feathers and pretty much that is the last ingredient that we need to start crafting our poison arrows now once you have all the ingredients ready to go just go ahead and open your craft wheel here and go over to ammo and scroll down to where you see poison arrows all right down below you'll be able to see how many you can make with the amount of ingredients that you have and just go ahead and make yourself a couple of poison arrows you know for your hunt now let me tell you you can actually recycle these because I mean if you miss for example or if you when you hit your target you can walk up to the 
to the prey and just you know take your arrow back and you can reuse it again that's actually pretty cool <laughs> pretty much recycling your arrow one of the most elusive animals that i've found in red dead redemption 2 has been the black bear um, i had a hard time finding the black bear um, and one of the times that i actually found one i didn't have any poison arrows i shot him with a regular arrow and the pelt was just crap and I mean, it was just terrible. So, you know, I decided, you know, from now on, I'm just gonna make sure that I have myself a bunch of poison arrows when I need to go hunting. So I don't miss the opportunity of catching that awesome, awesome hunt. Well, with that said, guys, this is all I have for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And thanks again for tuning in. I will see you on the next one.